Someone entered my room and stole 90 Singaporean dollars from me. I went to another location where Google Maps said there was a police station and there's not a police station here. My driver took me to the train station instead of the police station. Yes, someone entered the room, someone opened, opened my, 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 my bag and someone stole money from me. made it to Wang Vieng. This scenery is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna search my hotel and I will go to explore the city. That way? Check this room for only eight dollars in the city center. Got a full bed with fix AC. A nice, well, not so nice bathroom. <laughs> and some views to the streets. Well, kinda. Check the balloons out. This temple is called Wat Kang. It's one of the few temples that you can see here in Bang Vieng. Perhaps the best thing that you can do here in Bang Vieng is not the temples, but what you can do around the town. You can go on a balloon ride, you can go to many caves, to many lookout points, uh, springs. There's a lot of things to do around. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to move out the city too much. I think still there's a lot of things to do inside the city. And this is what thought. This Earth Review see here, it wasn't meant to exist, or at least for the American and the Laotian government. This airstrip was built by the CIA in order to supply the royalists in Laos during their civil war. Then, of course, uh, the, the royalists were defeated by the communists in the same day as today, in the 2nd of December in 1975. Very little is often known about the civil war in Cambodia, in Laos, because, of course, the Vietnam War was more mediatic and there were more efforts put on put on it but truth is the entire region the entire indochina peninsula was filled with civil war between communists and royalists or non-communists and lao was no exception and today is a day to remember that
behind me was the Namsom River, which is one of the most important rivers here in Dao, and it's one of the main affluents of the Mekong River, which hopefully tomorrow we will see. Look at the state of the bridge, it even bounces when you pass through, and the motorbikes still pass, even though it's literally destroyed. No cars allowed, but these cars wanted to get into the bridge. Check this out. I just had dinner for two bucks, but they tried to scam me in the most stupid way possible. Okay, so what happened is that I was having dinner. I had a very nice dinner with a nice view. I didn't film anything because it was too dark. But when I was going to check out, when I was going to pay, uh, the bill was 38 bucks. I knew this, I had counted it. And the lady that was going to take my money was like, okay, 30,000 for the rice, 8,000 for the water. She takes a calculator to calculate that. And she, I don't know what she does. And then it appears 40, 49, 48. And I'm like, um, excuse me, isn't 30,000 plus 8,000, isn't that 38,000? And she was like, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna think it was a mistake, but I don't know how she did that, but whatever. Let's just think it was a mistake. I'm not going to say the name of the restaurant just in case, but just too funny. Good morning, everyone. Um, I wish I could bring something positive today, but unfortunately, something happened yesterday while I was visiting Van Vien. Someone entered my room and stole 90 Singaporean dollars from me, from my bag. They opened my bag, they stole my, my 90 Singaporean dollars. I have my money in a very specific compartment of my, uh, of my bag. I know they stole uh, those dollars because I had 94 dollars in total, so I have a bill of 50 and four bills of 10 and then two of two. And they just robbed those uh, bills that they can actually exchange. That's how I know they, they robbed me. It was just not me that I, I just lost them, of course, because I, I, I had put them there before leaving. I am pretty sure it was someone from the hotel working here in the hotel. They are the only ones who would have uh, access to my room and they knew exactly when I was leaving and when I was entering. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna confront uh, the hotel owners to see what they can say. There's a camera in the corridor, in the hotel corridor. I, I'm gonna tell them to show me the footage and if they don't, and if they don't solve this quick, I will go straight to the police. You cannot close the door. The door doesn't work at all. So I'm trying to put the key and the door won't close. So anyone can enter the room at all. There's a camera right there, so I hope they have the footage there. Hi, excuse me, uh, I have a problem. Uh, someone entered my room yesterday and someone stole money from me. Your room? My room, uh, B1. Yeah. Someone entered and someone stole money from me. Yeah, you think, yeah. Huh? You think, yeah. I don't know. What? Yeah. Room number. Room number we one. I was there. Yeah. I was yesterday. I was in my room. Yeah. Someone entered my room and someone stole money from me from my bag. Your bag. Yes. I know. I know you have a camera there, so we can see who entered my room. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I can wait. I can wait. I will go to the police and I will come back too. Okay. Good. You go to the police. I'm going to go to the police because someone stole money from my room. So someone knew I was leaving yeah. for two hours and someone entered my room in those only two hours and they stole exactly a quantity that they can exchange. That's how I know. Just yesterday, yesterday last night, just mm -hmm. uh, but they were really key in your room. Mm -hmm. I think one has front room and, and, and uh, second, two, second. The electricity, you mean? But now no heavy really yeah. I know it's it's fine. I just want to see the, the footage. Whenever 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 the electricity comes back, I will. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. I hope you could hear the conversation. They told me they would check the cameras, but as the electricity is not working, they cannot do it for now. So now um, I told them I would go after to the police. I'm going now. 
because I really don't have any time to lose. And I will also try to um, to go see the caves. Although I don't, I don't know if I will have time because I'm leaving here at 2 p.m. It's 9 a.m. and time's running against me. So I need to move fast. It is quite sad because this village is absolutely beautiful. It is a shame they have these kind of people. I wanted to visit this temple, but that dog you saw there started following me, uh, barking at me with a big intention of killing me, probably. So, yeah, I think this, this village doesn't like me at all. Turns out I went to the wrong direction and the police station is not here. So I will just go to the caves and afterwards I will go to the, to the police station. Look at the clouds between the mountains there. The scenery is just beautiful. Got my ticket for the caves, it's just 5,000, which is about 30 cents. And oh, here's a dog staring at me. Will he bite me? Will he try to kill me like the other one? We'll see. Good boy. All right, I made it. Welcome to the Jiang Cave. So it turns out you have to pay again to enter the caves. So I paid 5,000, uh, which was, uh, as I said, 30 cents for entering like the, the area. And now to enter the actual caves, you have to pay again. But this time it's 15,000, which is about one euro. I went to another location where Google Maps said there was a police station and there's not a police station here. I am asking now for directions, they are making me go to the city center again. I've been walking for one hour already and still I cannot find the goddamn police station. Hi, do you know where the police station is? Yeah. Um, too far. Too far. I think the two, maybe two kilometers here, you start here. Oh, it's a, 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 I am going to pay 50,000 to go to a police station and then back. Uh, this is just a matter of pride, I need to get this solved.
my driver took me to the train station instead of the police station. <laughs> and here you have it, the Chinese built train station. Oh, well, at least I could see it, you know? I just came out from the police station and oh my god, this was so scary. So I I entered the um, the police station, they first they shouted me at me because they have, I had to remove my shoes. Um, then they went on and they they were listening to me. They first listened and then they were like, okay, we're gonna do whatever we can. Uh, we're gonna go to your hotel, we're gonna investigate. Um, so the when I was done telling my, my story, they 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 took my data, they took my mobile phone, they took my email, they took, they took my fingerprint, they made me sign, they made me write everything on paper. And then so I was I was trying to give them more information, but they were just cutting me every time. They were not allowing me to, to talk more. They were like, no. Go out, like leave the police station. That that's all we want. We don't want anything else. And I was, you know, trying to be friendly and I was trying to but they were just very like cutting. I don't know how to explain this. It was very weird. But yeah, I hope they found the, the, the person who stole that from me and now I'm going back to the hotel and I'm gonna try to talk to the owner, let's see if he has the footage. This is my finger, completely red after doing my fingerprints. Scary. Hello there. Well, um, I just went with the guy, the owner of the hotel. I went to the room where they have the cameras, where they have all this surveillance stuff. I guess you just saw that on, on the previous segment. We checked um, all the time I was out the hotel last, uh, last evening. So it is true that we put all the segments like very fast. So there were some parts that couldn't be, you know, uh, that couldn't be seen well. Because for that we, we would have to spend, you know, the entire four hours revising the footage. At first sight, uh, it seems nobody entered my room. Although, again, uh, we would have to check that again very slowly to see if uh, this was the case. Because when you pass all the images very fast, you normally miss some things. Um, apparently there was a way to lock my door, but you, you had to lock it from the outside. So I didn't know that, so I couldn't do anything. Um, I want to say publicly here, sorry for, you know, for suspecting... Uh, for doubting about the, the confidence of the hotel owner. He was very nice. He welcomed me into his like private space and we, we could check the images together. He was very nice. Everything was, was he was he just, he was just very helpful. So I, I cannot complain about that. So here I say sorry to you for making this fuss. I hope the police now will, uh, will investigate this issue and they will reach out back to me. Uh, I really hope they revise the footage again because I think that's where we can find the, the proper robber. Uh, I, we saw a lot of people going around this area, so I guess that's where it was lost. But yeah, but so far we didn't make it to, to you know to, to find the, the actual robber. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I hope in the future justice is made. Now I'm going to the north. I'm going to Long Prabang. You will see that on the next video, it's gonna be mad. It's probably gonna, going to be one of the biggest adventures ever. I am hoping to take a boat down the Mekong River up to Thailand, so that's gonna be crazy. So if I have to leave with something is make sure you always close the door of your hotel or you find a way to do it because even in this remote village where there's practically no crime, things like this can happen to you. That's all, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.